<웃음> 어, 제가 추도사를 한글로 지은 것은 이미 어, 유인물로 어, 배포가 되어 있습니다. 그걸 참고로 해주시고 제가 시간 전략상 또 여기 많은 어, 미국 손님들이 와 계시니까 영어로 읽겠습니다. 발음이 좀 나쁘더라도 양해해 주시기 바랍니다. 어, distinguished guests and the ladies and gentlemen. Today we gathered together to commemorate the 61st memorial service of General Walton Walker, who is known as the hero of defending the Nakdong River Front and still alive in many Korean hearts. General Walker said, and uh, General Walker and the U.S. veterans of the Korean War were all heroes, as he is stated in the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. Freedom is not free. Our nation orders her sons and daughters who else the call to defend the country they never knew and the people they never met. It is with a sorrow we remember the story of his death as he was killed when his vehicle collided with the Korean 6th Division truck while traveling to meet his son on December 23rd of 1950. General Work became one hero who dedicated his life to defending a country he never knew and the people he never met. Apostle Paul said in Bible, the entire law is summed up in a single command, love your neighbor as yourself. We will never forget the courageous and the dedicated heroes like him who applied the truth. Love your neighbor. During the Korean War, of one billion American soldiers participated in the war. Ten percent of them either injured or killed. Among the heroes, we must remember, beside the general work, Colonel Martin, who was commander of a regiment of 24th Infantry Division. He fought against the person against North Korean tank and was killed by a fire, direct fire from that tank. The son of Benfrey, the 8th Army Commanding General, was a pilot. He volunteered to participate in the Korean War and shot down during an attack <coughs> North Korea. 17 soldiers graduated from the Harvard University and died in the Korean War. During negotiation for this fire, the son of General Clark, the commander of the United Nations Forces, was a company commander, 2nd Infantry Division, and he was wounded at the Battle of Heartbreak Ridge. It was third time for him to be wounded in the Korean War. There were 142 officers sons of American generals who participated in the war. Among those numbers, 35 officers, 25% were killed or wounded, a rate twice as high as the average percentage rate of killed or wounded for other enlisted soldiers because they volunteered to fight on the front line. Koreans defended the country and developed the democracy and the market economy with on the principle of truth, justice, and freedom, uh, thanks to the sacrifice made during the Korean War by American and Korean soldiers and the United Nations. The United States and Korea became the alliance of black and the alliance makes the United States stronger as United States Korea put together and makes Korea strong as Korea 
and the United States put together. Korea has been called the breakwood of freedom for a long time, but now Korea has become the wave of freedom to defeat the communist state and has developed the power to free the North Korean slaves. Korea and the United States have the same vision towards the peninsula. It will be unified Korea as a strong nation based on freedom and prosperity. On 24th June 1950, that is American time, President Truman received the report about the invasion from North Korea during evening time in his hometown, Independence, Missouri. He told Dean Atchison, the Secretary of the State, we have got to stop the sons of bitches no matter what. His straightforward commanding words favored Korea. This was the first time our nation was saved by a foreigner. Based on deployment of deployment decision made by President Truman, work was assigned to Korea and in dramatic historical fashion made the difference reversing the outcome of the war. According to the report of the United Nations Development Program, the South Korea is now ranked 15th among 180 countries of the world for quality of life. This is a miracle which was became possible by freedom and the peace through the sacrifice of many war heroes. Today, as we commemorate <coughs> general workers' life and sacrifice, it is not a sad day, but a happy victory day to remember one hero's sacrifice 21st years ago. We should continue to develop a deep rooted sense of freedom and peace on the peninsula. And today, North Korean slaves become free men like us. We will again have a memorial ceremony before the general work statue to report with pride the victorious message. May God bless the Republic of Korea, United Nations, United States, and the descendants of work forever, as we are looking forward to have that day in the near future. Thank you very much. At this time, I would.